this channel and back to the tutorial for operating system today we are going to see the topic called data handling methods in data lock programming there will be uh, four ways to handle the data lock in the previous sessions i explained about what is data lock and how do you avoid data lock and what are the necessary necessary conditions available for data lock also let's go for session today there will be four mechanisms we are going to discuss one by one see here first one is called data lock prevention and another one called data lock avoidance and another one called data lock detection recovery and another one called data lock ignorance or you can say other is first stage algorithm let's see in any order no problem we are going to see the various ways very simple and easy first one data lock ignorance here this is the approach where is implemented in the real time that means what here many operating system main this implemented for many operating system mainly for end users and more it simply the meaning is what is ignores the data lock that means what these are suitable for single user system and more or when you use linux or unix linux or windows what time there when when you use this right like, operating system it may affect the performance of the computer it is a case rarely happen whenever data occurrence what happen we can restart the computer simple solution is restart the computer and leave it moreover one more option is what we can make some coding and do something if we do other options in the with the system is what will happen it may affect the performance of the computer so let's better solution is it's a real time one when you having data we can just restart the computer avoid the clock with the help of restart the computer only that's it let's go another one another method called data lock prevention so there will be a so so data lock prevention there will be four option is there whenever the four condition the following the conditions like mutual exclusion hold and wait preemption and circular wait all are fail or any one condition falls you can say data lock avoided that means data lock prevented like so first one is mutual exclusion here it can't be resolved as it's see in the hardware property for example the printer cannot be simultaneously shared by several passes here meaning what here resource suppose the multiple resource shared by the uh, more than one process at a time the time what happen which exclusions arise so we can avoid the situation what means let's say example printer printer means what it's a non resource resource it cannot be shared by the multiple process at a time so it's one of the resource best exam for avoid the mutual exclusion let's go no preemption here in no preemption must we allow force of preemption where a resource can be forcibly preempted let's see the diagram we'll understand here so let's assume that there will be a i'm going to there will be a p1 holding r1 and p2 holding r2 and same time p2 requesting r1 so here what i'm going to i'm going to forcibly preempt the p1 that means what p1 move to some other place and r1 also freed that means go back r1 be freed that means what whenever the Process two want to access the request the R one is possible because R one free data so P one will be completely preempted so P two can request the R one and replace this replace and exit the process moreover how it's possible we can follow this with the help of time countdown let's say time countdown of five and the within five seconds milliseconds it will be executed let's say time countdown within ten milliseconds the process will be executed next go for next one that is hold and wait here hold and wait can be resolved using the cons conservative approach where a process can start it and only if it has required all the resources that means before starting the process p1 p2 i can avoid it i can hold what are the resources i can start the resource one resource two and uh, utilize it okay process process will be started and process start to utilize the resource completely no need of holding no need of holding and waiting let's go circular queue circular queue wait here in circular in order to remove circular wait what you can do is you can assign number to every resource and the process can request only in the ranking order let's say example of diagram where you can see the previous also let's say you have resource number one called cpu resource number two called printer and resource number three called scanner here p1 let's say p1 requesting one resource one that is if it means possible and p1 want to request a scanner number resource number 3 is going to be possible now question is p2 now p2 want to access the resource number 3 it means possible yeah i can use but same time the process to want to request p1 means request one is not possible because whenever the process is requesting the number should be in increasing order not decreasing order it may increase maybe in the order of four register and so on if at all uh, one, one or two means not possible that is the concept of circular wait you can avoid the condition here you can avoid the data lock like this this is for another one that is called data lock avoidance here the operating system check whether the system is in safe state or unsafe state at every step which uh, operating system performs here how do you uh, implement means if you want to implement data lock avoidance completely we need to set up bankers algorithm this topic we will discuss in the upcoming session so it's in safe state or unsafe state that is important now last one is the data lock direction recovery where you have two options one is called kill the process 
and another called uh, resource preemption. Suppose dead lag occurs in district water, we can, we can kill the process P1. Again, if no dead lag, we can continue. If dead lag again, we can kill the process number 2. And one more option is resource preemption. That's just, just not told you. So, I have a problem with the resource 1. I can preempt, forcibly preempt the resource 1. Again, I have a problem with the resource 2. I can forcibly preempt the process and wait for some time and continue. Once uh, dead lag avoid detection recovery over, I can continue the another process. So, like that, I can do. This is all about the dead lag. Direction recovery. If you have any queries or suggestions, please kindly comment to the social media. Comment to the following social media. Thank you for watching. Thank you.